Hey YouTube, making a Cyrax video here, Mr. Old Cyrax, and I would like to uh, get into it now. Whew, isn't it funny, man? We all thought Cyrax might have learned some manner, you know, some small lesson, you know, after all the things that had happened to him. But if you thought that, you were wrong because here he is once again, mentioned in Tibbs' name and all that, talking about, you know, it's. I've only watched like 30 or 40 seconds of it, so it's good. Yeah, it's, he's, he's such an asshole, man. He's still the victim. Yep, still the fucking victim somehow. You know, it's, you know, it's like in his dad's psychological report said he lives, his dad lived in a fantasy of denial and shit, too. That's what the doctor was talking about. So obviously it must run in the family. So, yeah, let's get into Cyrax. What's up, everybody? I'm making this video for Tibbs. Tibbs, I know I said that I was going to stop mentioning you, but I'm not going to because I actually care about you and I want you to see the fucking truth. You need to wake the fuck up, kid. You really do. You talk about not being a troll, but look at the people you're hanging out with. They are evil. They really are. I mean, can't you see that they did this to you? It wasn't me. It was them. They wanted to turn you against me. They wanted that. They set all this up. It was on them. So don't you fucking sit there and blame me, motherfucker. Amazing, isn't it? The fucker is still the victim. They set him up. All this bullshit just to break us apart. I think them two motherfuckers love each other, man. I don't know, man. That shit was, that was shit was weird, man. It definitely gave off weird vibes. Don't you dare blame me because this wasn't on me. It was on them. They turned you against me. You need to think about that, Tibbs. They turned you against me. I didn't turn you against me. They set all this up and blinded you. Made me look like an evil piece of shit. Think about it, Tibbs. They wanted to turn you against me. Now look who you're aligning with. You claim to hate Nazis. And you claim to hate pedophiles. Look who you're aligning yourself with, motherfucker. The very people that you don't like are the same ones that you're aligning yourself with, dude. Wake the fuck up, Timoth. Wake up, Johnny. And the reason why I care about you, Johnny, in case you're wondering, is because I still see the good in you. Because there is good in you, bro. Wake up. These people are fucking using you. And you know what they're going to do when they're done with you? They're going to throw you aside. And then where are you going to be? These are the same motherfuckers that tried to make you homeless, bro. These are the same motherfuckers that made you homeless. It wasn't me that called that motel. That was them. That wasn't on me. That was on them. So don't you dare place the blame on me, dude. That was on them, not on me. So, Tibbs, shut your fucking mouth and open your goddamn eyes and look the hell around, dude. I'm not the bad guy here. Like you said before, even you see the good in me. You see the shit that I've been through. And you helped me get away from the trolls. And I appreciate that. I do. 
But Tibbs, the very people that called and got you taken out of your fucking motel are the very same ones that you're aligning yourself with. You claim you're not, but we all know that you are, man. I'm not the one that called the motel and got you kicked out. That was N-Word Boy. That was William Glory Hole. Now look at you. Aligning yourself with the same motherfuckers. Aligning yourself with the same motherfuckers that got you thrown out, dude. I'm not the bad guy here, Tibbs. Matter of fact, while we're being honest here, why don't we talk about how you took advantage of me when I was at my lowest and you forced me to call myself a pedophile when I am not? Why don't we talk about your fuck-ups? Hmm? Why don't we talk about your fuck-ups, dude? You know, the only reason why I called myself a pedophile was because you forced me into it, motherfucker. Not because I believed it, but because you forced me into it, motherfucker. You know... When you're right, you're right. And Cyrax does have a point. He is siding with the people that, you know, got rid of his cat and shit. When you're right, you're right. You know what I mean? He just... Sometimes, even the goblin tells the truth. I I know, personally, if someone had... You know, even... He threatened them and all that shit, yes. You know what I mean? Granted, you know what I mean? That That's okay, you know, that they did that. But, I don't know, man... It's sad, you know. He shouldn't have made them threats to begin with. But, the, you know, the cat's the only thing I give a fuck about. Fuck Tibbs, you know what I mean? I care about the cat. I feel bad for the cat. Fuck all these other motherfuckers. Who's a Cyrax, man? I want to, you know, I like the kitty kitty, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> you know, Cyrax wants the kitty kitty. He likes that. He wants that pussy. You know, that's all. He, I get some pussy. You know what I mean? Remember when he was, he's always talking to like three or four different girls whenever he's with a girl. I don't know if he'll ever be with a girl now. Because um, he called himself the Big P, that P word. You know the one. But yeah, let's get into it. Cyrax is really amazing. This is the way he talks to his friends, all right? This shit right here, I guess, must be how he thinks that you're supposed to talk to your friends. Motherfucker, I have enemies I don't talk to like that. But yeah, let's watch this shit. Fucking asshole Cyrax. You gotta love the Wonder Woman in the, in the back, you know, at the end of the video. Chance! You know, Sally Wilkins. The one who has single-handedly handedly somehow managed to raise two, not one, but two fucking predators that prey on children. You know, it is, that you got some, some, I don't know what the fuck she did, but you know, whatever, however she raised them made a higher incidence of, you know, it, it, you know what I mean though? You know what I'm saying, man. But yeah, let's, this is this next one. I don't know if it's on YouTube or Kick. I haven't, here, fuck it, let me check. Um... Is it, um, yeah, it's all YouTube, okay. So, yeah, this, this is, uh, on to the next YouTube. See what his crazy ass said after this one. See, here's how this is gonna work, you dumb fucks. I'm not going nowhere. You can strike my channel down all you want. Well, guess what, motherfuckers? I will continue to re-upload my videos attacking all of you. Because you guys are the bad guys. You guys are child predators. You're pedophiles. You're hemophiles. Well, hebophiles. You're neo-Nazis. You're fucking terrorists. And you're cyber bullies. And you think the rules don't apply to you. But here's the catch. They actually do, motherfuckers. The rules do apply to you. This ain't prison, bitch. So here's how this is going to work. 
you guys are going to fuck off, and you are going to leave me alone. Otherwise, I have a very good lawyer that has seen all of this shit that has gone on. And knows about everything. And trust me when I say, I have people on the inside, I have people everywhere that know what you guys do, and they are not happy with you. If anything, they hate all of you. So all it's going to take is one phone call to the people outside of YouTube, and one call to my lawyer. Yeah, you better be careful. Chance will uh, call his attorney that, uh, you know, he couldn't afford for Gordon. He can't afford a civil case, but, you know, he'll to defend something as simple as that. You know, but he's going to, now this lawyer, what, is he going to take it for free, pro bono? Is he going to do all the, you know, he's going to wait to get paid at the end when he, you know. <laughs> yeah, man. Sarix is so fucking stupid, though. Poor guy. He, th he thinks that an attorney would try to do this. You know, it, you know, it is ridiculous the levels of his delusion. He's one of those people's that, people that, uh, no matter what he thinks, it's always right. You know what I mean? Like, he's one of those people, like, if you ask him what the law is on something, like, if he doesn't know, he'll talk about what he thinks it is and shit like that. You know what I mean? I hate people like that. It's like, man, if you don't know what you're talking about and your lips are flapping and you're saying things, you're lying. All right, that's the way to look at it. You know, if you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, just say, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Seriously, though. Yeah, here we go. And every one of you will be shut down. Because I will be going after YouTube if they do not do something about you guys. I will be suing YouTube if YouTube does not step up and fucking do something. And yes, I do have a lawyer that is more than willing... That is more than willing to take shots at YouTube if need be. Because they are allowing terrorism. They are allowing pedophilia. They are allowing cyberbullying. They are allowing neo-Nazis onto this platform. And I'm sorry, but I will not stay silent. I will continue to stand up for the little guy. I will continue to stand against you motherfuckers. So make your choice, motherfuckers. Either back off, or you're going to get made to back off. And that includes, stop running your fucking bitch mouths about me. That includes, not going after my friends or family. And that includes, not attacking me ever again. I am off the market. Oh, and if I do catch one of you guys bullying someone else, and doing the same shit to them, guess what? That person is going to be under my protection as well. Because I will be coming after every single one of you legally if you do not fuck off. Okay? So make your fucking choice. This is your one warning. Either fuck off and leave me the fuck alone and stop, stop spreading lies about me. Stop harassing me, my friends, and my family. Or shit's gonna get legally ugly. Your pick, motherfuckers. Powerful words from a powerful man. <laughs> that was funny as hell when Marty said that. But, you know, it's true. It's just as relevant today as any other day, isn't it? Man. And it, there's only one more little bit of this. So, and that's per, that's current. After this, we're current on Cyrax. Oh, fucking Cyrax. You're so fucking stupid. He's exhausting. I don't know, man. He's he's been putting out some real crazy content lately. I can't wait till he uh. Well, Tibbs is gone now, so he has no one to protect him. So, uh, he doesn't uh Tibbs he doesn't know the little tricks that Tibbs does to get the trolls banned from his uh account and shit like that. Basically, it probably comes down to having enough people in the chat to uh ban everybody that makes anything bad instantly. And then after a while, all the people that you banned are still banned, you know, and the only way that they'd be able to get in there is make a sock account, you know what I mean? But anyway, let's watch this shit and see what this dumbass has to say now. This is a, you know, it's, uh, it, the shit, the fucking title, what the fuck is the title of this one? Um, I'm officially retiring from YouTube. The one we just watched was, uh, 
Leave me alone or legal action will be taken. But the one we're going to watch now is I'm quitting YouTube. Oh, man. I hope he does, man. I hope he does. Hello, YouTube. You know who this is. And I am not going to play nice. I am going to tell the honest to God fucking truth. And I don't give a fuck who likes it and who doesn't like it. And you want to know why? Because after this video, I am retiring as a YouTuber for good. Not because you guys pushed me off the platform, no. Because I realized something over the last couple days of thinking about everything since everything went down. And I realized I don't need to be on a platform where there's a bunch of fucking pedophiles and pedophile supporters and neo-Nazi terrorists. I don't need that. Man, that fucking bag of chips is still up there. I feel sorry for it, man. You know it's seen Cyrax jack off a bunch of times and shit like that. I'm surprised it hasn't tried to fucking jump off the edge of the fucking... In the, count, I mean, the fucking the dresser or something like that. I'm better off with that. So to kick things off, we're going to start off with you, Jonathan Bruce Tibbetts. You, my friend, are a fucking pedophile supporter and a lying sack of shit and a fucking scumbag now let's go over the things that you've done right and the things that you've done wrong things you've done right got me away from the trolls that's one second thing showed me that I don't need scumbags like you or your friends. That's the two things that you've done for me. Now, for the things you've done wrong. One, you lied to my face. Two, you recorded me without my fucking permission or knowledge. Third off. You forced me to call myself a fucking pedophile. Now that third one, we're gonna talk about, boy. That third one, we are going to talk about. Here's why, little boy. And yes, I call you a little boy because, yeah, you may be an adult, but you act like a fucking child. Now, the third one we are going to talk about quite a bit. You sat there and lied, Tibbs. First off, you lied. Saying you weren't recording me when you actually were, you fucking idiot. So, I mean, you did lie. Third, the third one, we're going back to the third one here, but I wanted to put that first one out there. Third one. You forced me to call myself a fucking pedophile. You fucking chomo loving little faggot. You chomo loving little bitch. You forced me to call myself a pedophile. And I quote this by you in your words, Tibbs. Your words, motherfucker. Before we even streamed. Before you even streamed on your channel. And I quote. Either I come on to your channel and admit that I'm a pedophile. Or you are going to help my former dad. And his wife. Sue me and my family for defamation of character and slander. Those were your words, Tibbs. Those were your words, boy. Not mine. Those were your motherfucking words, pal. Not mine. All right, let's use a little uh, little mental device here. Occam's razor. All right. You're okay. Let's say, for instance, let's 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 uh, say that you Cyrax is right. All right. Let's say that 
these people that keep targeting him for being a pedophile are pedophiles. Well, what do they have to gain or lose by that? Are these people coming after him because they're pedophiles? You know, and it's a conspiracy of pedophiles against another pedophile and neo-Nazis and all this crazy shit? Or is he just a pedophile that they've caught talking to kids a few times? Occam's Razor, of course, you know, would say that he's a pedophile that got caught, you know, talking to kids. Because Occam's Razor is the simplest explanation that makes the most sense is always the right one. You know what I mean? Well, yep. Let's watch some more of what he's got to say. On this today's episode, everyone's a pedo but me. You know what I mean? Fuck. You lied to me. And you stabbed me in the fucking back. Oh, and just for the record, Tibbs, a real pedophile actually goes out and goes after little kids in the real world. A pedophile is not somebody that you fucking catfish on the internet. Oh, and don't go around thinking like, oh, but, but what if it was a kid? No, no, no. It's not a matter of what if it was a kid. That don't fucking matter. The fact is, it was a grown-ass fucking adult, not a fucking child, you stupid fuck. Therefore, by default, I am not a pedophile. I am not what these people call me. If anything, you're a pedo supporter. I mean, Tibbs, you saw my records. My records don't lie, motherfucker. You saw my public record. Records don't lie, boy. Records do not lie. All you and your friends are, including William Glory Hole, all you guys are, are a bunch of pedophile motherfuckers that love to catfish people for fun. Because you don't have lives. Because you're bored as fuck. And Tibbs, I'm going to tell you right now. How do we know that it wasn't you pretending to be that fucking kid that catfished me? I mean, it seems pretty odd that you would sit there and say, hey, don't do this. And then all of a sudden, as soon as I get catfished, you all of a sudden know about it before I even say anything. Seems pretty odd, don't it, Tibbs? Like my friend in our group chat said, how do we know that wasn't you pretending to be the kid, motherfucker? You stupid fucking idiot. You know, it is... Amazing how unlikable Cyrex is. He is the most unlikable person in the entire world. And what he's talking about and shit, it, it, it makes any normal man, you know, or I'm sure probably some fucking women just want to ball their fists and just walk up to him and start wailing on him and, you know, until it starts bleeding green goblin blood or some shit. Like, he's infuriating. He really is. How do you know this? How do you know that? I. Yes, Chance. Everybody in the world is against you. Everyone's a pedophile but you, Chance. Definitely. Definitely. He's so fucking delusional, though. It's sick, man. It, it's it's hard to watch. And he said he retired from YouTube. That means he'll be on Marty's panel tomorrow. So, yeah, we got that to look forward to. I don't know if that's true. Don't fucking say that I, you know, I said that that would happen. But I'm, I'm guessing that that's probably going to happen. You know, I don't know. Marty's been planning something. You know he has. The Council of Eight, you know, they're going to do the, they're going to kill Cyrax. Remember when he thought that the fucking Council of Eight was real? And then people on Reddit were making posts like, you need a Council of Eight account to view this and shit. That shit was pretty funny. Yeah, let's get into it. And you know, Tim, I did my research on people like you over the last couple of days. And it is a proven fact that nine times out of ten, people like you that have sex dolls are either a sexually active and can't get a girlfriend which there's nothing wrong with that or b 
You have a lot of worse shit going on, like some fucking pedo shit. Matter of fact, 70% of pedophiles have a fucking sex doll. In some way, shape, or form, or have had, to some capacity, a sex doll. Now, I'm not saying you are a pedophile, but I am calling you a pedophile supporter. Because you support people like William Glory Hole and N-Word Boy and Kate, and other people that you know that are known pedophiles and pedo supporters. It's like you told me, Tibbs. It's like you told me, you are who you hang around. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. It's an old saying. Yep. And since you're hanging around a bunch of pedophiles and pedophile supporters, that by default would make you a pedophile supporter. Therefore, I want nothing to do with you. I don't involve myself with pedos like you. And your fucking moronic pedophile friends. And I'm going to tell you exactly what you told me. All pedophiles and pedophile supporters deserve to die. Therefore, you yourself deserve to die. Because you are a pedophile supporter. I mean, is that not what you said? That all pedos and all pedo supporters deserve a bullet and to die? Is that not what you said? And yet, here you are, hanging out with pedophiles. Real pedophiles. Which is why I'm leaving YouTube. Because I want nothing to do with pedophiles. Period. And to Kate, I say this. Anytime you have kids, bitch, I hope that they get taken away from you. I do. I hope they get taken from you. Because you don't deserve kids, bitch. You're a scumbag drug addict. Who uses your kids for money. And to win glory hole. I don't give a fuck if you like me or don't like me. You stupid fuck. You're nothing more than a fucking wannabe tough guy on the internet. And N-word boy. You're a fucking Dutch bitch. Who's trying to play hard ass. But really you're a fucking pussy on the internet. You know what's sad? The only troll I can say that I have even a little bit of respect for is Music Biz Marty. And you want to know why? Because he moved on from me. And even he agreed, Tibbs, that you're a piece of shit. And that you do need mental help. Which you do. You need professional mental help. Okay? I mean, it's funny. You're kind of contradicting your own words, Tibbs. I mean, the other night you sat there and were like, Oh, well, well you say you're not a pedophile, but look who you hang out with. Bitch, look who you hang out with. I went on Marty's panel because I have at least a little bit of respect for him. I might not like him. I might not agree with everything he does. But I can respect the fact that he has not fucked with me and has learned to lay off and is actually trying to move on with his life. Same with Gigi Allen. And Gigi Allen, you know damn well me and you men, we've had no issues with each other. And you know damn well I've always got you back and that you can always talk to me. 
You know that, bro. But you, Tibbs, you're psychotic. You believe these entities, these voices in your head, are real. They are not real, Jonathan Bruce Tibbetts. They are not real, Tibby. They are fake. Those 72 entities are not entities. That is you and your way of coping with whatever bullshit you've gone through. Oh, just for the record, I'm not the one that got you thrown out of your motel. It was your little fucking faggot chomo friends. And with that being said, I have one thing to say. Fuck you, Tibbs. Fuck you, glory hole. Fuck you, Kate, you fucking bitch. And N-word boy, fuck you, you moronic little fag. Oh, and one final fuck you. To YouTube as a platform for allowing pedophiles on your platform. And fuck YouTube for allowing catfishers on your platform. Now, with that being said, goodbye YouTube. I am moving on with my life and doing what I need to do to better myself and do other shit in life other than sit on here and argue with a bunch of fucking man children and a bunch of chomos and chomo supporters and catfishers and drug addicts I'm done and I mean it I Chance Wilkins aka Cyrax am retiring from YouTube forever goodbye see you later Kiss my ass. Fuck all you guys that have ever fucked with me. Fuck all of you. I hope you all burn in hell, bitches. Fuck you. I'm out. Peace, faggots. Well, <laughs> Cyrex is the most unlikable motherfucker, though, man. Everything he says just makes me want to just hit him, man. I just want to hit that one. I just want to... Just make some contact with that goblin skull, you know. Here's teeth click, you know. <laughs> no, but it is fun. I I can't. I think Tibbs definitely made a mistake getting involved with Cyrax, because now Cyrax is gonna bother him until the end of time because he's in love with them or some shit like that. Someone make a I don't know, man. I, don't, I made a little music video with uh, Alexander Stan. I thought it was a boy, oh boy, or whatever. I think it was that song. Italian pop. She's hot as a motherfucker. I think she's fucking beautiful. You know what I mean? Anyway, you guys have a good night. Later on, bye.